Hi, hello everybody. Today I want to show you um, how I'm fascinated about modern software solutions, especially around uh, machine learning algorithms, around the um, software libraries TensorFlow, and therefore I have um, prepared some uh, little experiment or some little demonstration what I figured out in the last uh, few days. Uh, therefore, I have a, yeah, let's call it a small robot. Um, but the thing what I want to use here is just um, um, one uh, micro servo for this uh, robot. And um, I will show you some um, details on that. Um, this is, uh, yeah build up uh, with this uh, micro servo. I can show you here, I will split it in the, the screen um, here, the, the servo. And one of this servo is connected to an Arduino micro board. You see it here, uh, just three cables and with a um, standardized uh, a USB plug. And uh, as you have already recognized, there I have placed some uh, little friend uh, on the on the uh, servo here on the on the top it's just here this uh, micro servo and uh, yeah what I want to show is the following um, if I connect the um, USB plug to my uh, smartphone and there is no other power supply the uh, servo starts to, to operate and then if I um, open um, a, a web-based application and I will come back on that later there is a, a button that you can uh, hit connect to Arduino Micro and uh, you will have to allow the um, access to the uh, serial interface via the USB and then the purpose is, or the demonstration is, that um, there is running a postnet detection on um, on this uh, application or within the browser. And um, if I will tilt my head, um, you will see the servo will also tilt in the in the same direction. Uh, this is done by uh, tracking the position of my eyes, and yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a little bit a game or whatever you can do. Um, and all this application is uh, now, is now uh, runs now in the browser. So uh, yeah, this works fine. And I will just uh, yeah, unplug it or leave it. So yeah, maybe we can test the robustness. And if I will come to the um, PC, I can show you some uh, details about that. Um, first of all, this is all uh, a web-based application and um, I've started the training or the experiments around this uh, teachable machine from Google. And here you have this free um, projects or free, let's say, approaches and I've choose the, the postnet um, um, approach and I've trained the model uh, of course as I have mentioned I have used the position of the eyes for the tracking or for the control of the servo you can also train here uh, different classes to uh, do a classification of the process and then there is some hint, some code snippets. If you export the model, you can see it here, um, how to use it. And I've integrated um, the trained model in this uh, uh, P5.js um, editor. And uh, this, just to, to do a little demonstration, it's uh, really easy to um, do here nice things. For example, like this, you hit the auto refresh button, play, 
and uh, yeah you can do something like this we will hide the original input and uh, place the output on the canvas and you see here in, on the right the preview and uh, for example you can do because this is uh, uh, is done in a loop you can do some things like that pause like equals pause plus one for example and then you can have uh, uh, for example this and then the, the moves around and uh, yeah if pause is greater than 200 pause set back to zero and it sets back and it, now you can have also some other fun of that you can do something like that and uh, I have to write math in capital letters and then you can do something like that you see it is uh, splitting around you can increase the amplitude so just a demonstration on what is possible here you see my head tilting um, with this um, we can now I will now open the project what I've demonstrated on the smartphone with the robot in principle it consists of um, the setup function you see here the trained model which is uh, used within it's the teachable it's stored uh, on the Google on a Google share teachable machine um, you create a canvas um, you create um, a new webcam object specialized for the postnet and then you do an asynchron function to um, predict the, the pose and the pose output you draw the rectangle and so on and I can demonstrate it here um, you will see now the uh, the output here on the right side it takes some some minutes to connect for the yes I have scaled some and above I print out the angle which I've calculated for the tilting of my uh, head and you see it it's in the range between so and if I go far away or maybe stand up you see my shoulders also this is this post net detection and also the head tilting is working so and this this uh, angle is then written to the to the servo position and therefore there is uh, another uh, JavaScript uh, which comes from the Arduino community which uh, connects the Arduino serial interface via the Chrome browser and uh, um, does the execute the commanded value and therefore there is of course also an Arduino sketch um, that this is shown here this is quite simple in the setup function you just define the um, the serial interface and in the loop the main uh, or the the focus is just here um, output the servo function of the commanded value and here it is inside the here port port send Port dot send uh, angle and here in the output section uh, port dot send and the angle will transfer the object to the servo. Yeah, that's it. I will post the I will post the links uh, in the video description so you maybe if you are interested can uh, do some experiments on your own and I will come back. Uh, if it's still working so it's only all the um, all is driven by the smartphone or by the mobile yeah it's still working and if I maybe goodbye see you